Hello, this is Svetlana Shepetsina and today we will start learning famous Angular. I'm using web store remap shortcuts and AutoCAD keys during my work. All of them you can find uh, in my video description on YouTube and download. Uh, we started to learn famous Angular when we decided to create photo gallery for our web application with animation similar that we can create for mobile app. And that's how it works with famous. We have a bug. Here yeah, we'll reload. Let's try like this. It's fast, it's beautiful, and of course we could try to achieve uh, the same result using, using CSS3, but it's pretty limited. The main issue is that DOM layout is too slow for complex CSS uh, animation code. And uh, each time when we click on button uh, and animation is applied, each element of our design is treated separately. And it will take a lot of work for our browser to render it. And it's just a uh, comparatively s simple example. And uh, uh, famous it's open source JavaScript framework that offers high performance rendering on the web and uh, famous angular using its own render, render tree instead of using DOM to output values to matrix 3d properties and it allows you to get rich interactions which user uh, which users usually expect from today's mobile apps and uh, uh, let's uh, take a look how it works on practice. Uh, since we already have uh, Angular app, all we need just to integrate famous Angular to it. We click on famous Angular, then on GitHub. And uh, here it is. Inside your app, run power install famous angler i need just to copy it and insert the terminal like this click enter and when everything installed in our application folder in power components you will find a famous famous angular and famous angular bower and then don't forget in index html at css styles here they are and the next uh, two JavaScript files from famous and famous Angular. After that, in app.js, uh, we need to inject to our module famous Angular. That's such so easy. And uh, everything ready uh, to check if it works. The last step we copy html code and since we are using JIT, i need to convert it okay and to move a little bit and uh, does it work and contact us we have hello world on red background and when we take a look on our uh, famous angular code we can see uh, two directives first angular uh, famous angular directive it's fa app uh, it creates a famous context uh, context it's uh, the root of a famous render tree and uh, in fact it's container and uh, like on bootstrap and uh, when we expect element we can find a div that created for us with fa app with class famous angular container and uh, declaring fa app appends uh, a div with this class famous angular container container to the dom and it can be declared as an element or as an attribute with another element and uh, inside fa app uh, 
we have another another uh, renderable nested it's FA surface FA surface directive uh, create a famous surface that in fact it's a building block for our UI everything that is uh, nested inside this surface it's HTML and uh, CSS uh, style uh, will be sent directly to GPU text texture since a uh, surface is mapped directly to GPU texture and um, uh, actually it's leaf node and uh, it shouldn't include any another famous elements and if you try to include another uh, surface inside it uh, your browser will render a mistake and another uh, renderable that uh, FA app uh, can have nested it's FA modifier and this directive uh, creates a famous modifier that manages all changes uh, that will be applied to another uh, re uh, for our surface re renderable component so how it works f mod i created shortcuts for this it's like templates it will be modifier and inside surface and uh, when we open browser nothing is changed and now now we have uh, our fa uh, famous render tree it starts always from up it includes uh, not always but usually it it includes modifier especially if you want to implement uh, animation and inside modifier fa surface uh, that uh, usually contains html and css and we have delete our string and we'll try to add just div here hello world and let's check it will not work so in order uh, see uh, any html and css style you need to add it only to surface like this and uh, let's try to play a little bit with this inside fa up uh, we can apply directly color but for now maybe I will omit this I will apply property to modifier it will be FA translate sorry I forgot about my shortcuts FA translate and it will be for example 10 and 10 we will not be able maybe to observe it for now even it has color red and on style if I try to add background color I will copy it from Planker like this but I want our head to be for example like this You can see that in blue it's our FA up and in red 
it's our modifier with a surface uh, inside and we moved, we translated by first and second parameter and if I remove second you can see that uh, it, uh, it came to initial position and initially each element inside uh, FA up starts from zero and uh, for example if I want to apply this margin then on surface I need to uh, apply size in order to reach F size. I have this property with two elements and I set first to 700 and second for example to 50 and let's take a look what we have. So we have height, uh, we have height of uh, 50 and 700 width. And that's how we can uh, move elements inside our context uh, with uh, FA translate property applying to FA modifier. And with Ctrl Alt S on live templates you can find uh, all shortcuts on famous FA modifier. I created separate folder since this directive uh, has a lot of properties and on famous you will uh, find another template. Okay, like this. And now let's try uh, briefly implement mockup for our uh, photo gallery. Uh, I would like just to show how to manage elements inside uh, using a uh, using a famous Angular, and we need to create block for our for displaying our image and uh, another block for small thumbnails and two buttons. And now we have in blue modifier and. Uh, I don't need background color here, but for surface I will leave size just to change it. it will be like this. And I will change height for our up for our main container. Uh, so in its large, so it's our, it will be our main container. I colored it blue in order uh, to be convenient to see all elements, all blocks. And then inside FA up, I can create another modifier FA modifier and I want to apply FA translate and maybe I will uh, apply it in future but first I will add surface and I need to add size F size and size will be like this And I will, be, will add background color. It starts from F, F, B, C. And uh, let it be green. And check what we have. Hold. Like this. And uh, now we need Let's move this element to the bottom since we 
need something like this on design and we can achieve it with translate on modifier fa translate and it will be 0 500 check what we have we move moved it to the bottom and now we need to create two uh, two buttons for moving uh, pictures inside and it will be only mock-up box design so in order to create buttons I need to add two additional modifiers and uh, on this modifiers I just copy it because I have uh, already translate for me and on FA size I need just to change it will be for example 40 and 100 and let's check we can see nothing we need to change color and let our buttons be uh, red it's better gray We can see only one. Let's take a look what we uh, did wrong. We have one button, 40 size, size is the same, but we need to move another one to the right side and it will be like this. So it's ready, but uh, the only we need to change a little bit height. Okay, height now correct, and uh, we can try to our surface in order to show place on future of future picture apply fa background color and let it be white and it's ready uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, to ugly colors uh, but it works and uh, today we learned how to create famous uh, render tree uh, for our uh, web application and that's, that's it for today thank you bye bye